getting the speed right, one. <laughs> Can't believe you farted so loud. Excellent. All right, you, you caught me off guard now. <laughs> um, so I was, yeah, they are funny. So we stand on top of the new medium line here, and I thought after being asked a couple of times like how they get the speed right, I thought I'd make a video on it. And um, the first thing I would like you to have in mind is to look at people riding the jumps. You can stand on top of the in-run, checking them out, or I like to always look from the, the lift here. This is just next to the park, you like see how many turns people take before and in between the jumps. And uh, the next thing I like you to have in mind is that you can always ask someone on top of the in-run, do you know the speed of these jumps? And you may get some advice. You can ask, are you gonna be sending it hard or could I follow you? And this is an important question since if they're gonna be going for like double corks and shit, you probably shouldn't follow them because you may distract them. So um, I think we should go down and speed check these jumps and see how they are. Can you show me the speed? Yeah, do you know the speed for the jumps? Yeah. No. Can I follow you? <laughs> I honestly don't know the speed for the jumps. I just yes, you do. All right, I don't trust this kind of people who don't know the speed. Vinny, we need you to be confident. Yeah, I know. Um, and we need you to speak loudly. So, Vinny, do you want to show me the speed? <laughs> if you're not going to do something crazy. I'll jump next to you anyway, so you'll be safe. Jump next to me? No, like... If you go left, I go right. If you go middle, I go I next. Left. <laughs> you to left. It's easy. Right, okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, sure. Have fun. So we can see some tracks here. Follow this one. Oh, he's a badass. That was pretty good speed. So follow these tracks here. For safety reasons, it is important that you jump in the opposite direction as the person in front of you, so you will not land on him. Be appropriately far behind the rider in front. The closer you are, the easier it is to get the speed right, but the risk of an accident increases. So be careful, so you give the person some space. Not like I'm doing here. Here I'm too close. But luckily I have enough space sideways to keep it pretty safe. And remember, so th say thank you for showing the speed. That was nice. Another thing I'd like you to have in mind is the snow conditions. I find it often here to be either fast or slow in the morning. It can be slow because it's cold snow or it's fast because it's icy. And then here in Larks at least, it tends to get pretty soft by lunchtime or so. So then it gets slower again. And uh, you should have this in mind, especially if you go for lunch at like 11 or 12, when you come back it's gonna be a bit different. But anyways, this video is mainly about getting the speed right in the beginning, but you also need to get it right during the day when you're really practicing. Another thing, if I'm just gonna take, for me at least, easy tricks, do some 360s, that kind of thing, I can easily break and do many speed checks on the way, but if I feel sandy or I'm doing something where I really want to be able to focus only on this trick, I often like to slide down, start in the same spot every time, do the same turns and then hit the jump. And so I know that I'll get the speed right every single time. That's not true, but most of the time I get it. That's it for this tutorial. And don't forget to check out stompertutorials.com for our most in-depth free ski tutorials. Hit that subscribe button or also follow us on Instagram, Facebook or maybe somewhere else so you'll stay updated on interesting tutorials in the future.